Hi, I'm Claire and this is my husband Nick. We met in an online chat room in 2001 and ended up getting married in 2006. We're a fairly normal, hard-working couple who love travelling and enjoying a drink or two. In early 2020, we decided we wanted a whole new life-changing challenge. So we said goodbye to our jobs. We sold our Wiltshire farmhouse we packed up our things and made the move to France. In early 2001, I went back to the UK to finalise our house sale and pick up my Arga. I was on Facebook on an Escape to the Chateau fan club page when I saw this advert. I messaged Nick the advert, curiosity got the better of him and he went and arranged a viewing. With the instructions from me, I trust your judgement, if you think I'll like it, Put in an offer. The offer was accepted and we finally got the keys on the 10th of June 2021. Join us and our dogs Merlo and Flora as we renovate our Maison de Maitre. Well finally the sun is coming out. Guess where we are? And we've come to have lunch. Say Bob, and this is everyone that's here. Hey! Hey. Cheers. <laughs> so yes, after a day on the beach, our guests have <laughs> realised that they need to apply sun cream. Um, so that Claire has provided them with the natural remedy that we have available here in the form of aloe vera. I wasn't eating it. <laughs> you can do that. I think I'm best eating. Yeah. You've not got any bread left to put it on. <laughs> Claire also remi remembered to put sun cream on her face, but not on her back. Or front. Or front. <laughs> <laughs> ho, 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 ho. And after two and three nights, at the beginning of their French holiday, our friends are going to a campsite on the coast for a week. Bye! It's car number one on its way. And the spaceship is departing. Bye. Off they go. Peace and quiet for a few days till our next visitors arrive. Yay! <laughs> oh. Our guests all left yesterday and today it's time for me to start on the mountain of washing. Hey! <laughs> That's an awful lot of washing. Um, hello. Hello, Dogbot. Hello, Merlo. I've got one problem here. You're not supposed to be in my washing pile. Yes, I see, Flora May. And now you're in the washing pile too. Want to be washed? Want to be washed? You need a belly tickle. Do you need a belly tickle? Yes, you do. Good baby boy, yeah. Belly tickles. Belly tickles. My tomato plants are now full of ripe cherry tomatoes. So today I'm going to pick a load of them and do something with them before they all go mushy and horrible. Well, I'd say that that's my, uh, my best crop so far. Even though today is 28 degrees outside, I've been thinking, what shall I do with these tomatoes? So, what I am going to do, I've got them all washed, uh, all with the tops off, and I've got them into an oven tray. And I'm gonna throw in some chunks of garlic, and then I'm going to cover them in some Spanish extra virgin olive oil. Nice big glug. Then I'm gonna cover it with some smoked 
rock salt. A good, good few, uh, few chunks of that. Yummy. And a good shake. And into the oven just to roast them off. And with a couple of surplus cherry tomatoes that didn't make it into the roasting tin, a lovely kind of caprese salad bruschetta esque lunch here today. Mm. Look at all of that garlic. So the tomatoes have now roasted in with the garlic, the olive oil and the salt and they are now ready to go into the big pan. Oh yeah. And next into the pan will be a teaspoon of Bart black garlic paste and a teaspoon of Bart smoked garlic paste. Yummy. You can never have enough garlic, can you? Nice amount of freshly grated pepper and a litre of veggie stock. All in. Oh. I've turned on the heat and I'm just gonna let this bubble away for a while. And while it's starting to bubble away, a couple of drops of Worcestershire sauce and some lovely rough cut fresh parsley. In we go. And I'm also going to chuck in a tiny little bit of celery salt and a couple of pinches of rosemary as well. I've got to say that's looking good it's looking very hot as well <laughs> well thought I'd better try a bit first and I've got to say it's pretty good mm. it's very hot but it's very good it's nothing like having soup on like now a 28 degree day mm. I'll tell you what this will be really lovely in the winter and now all chilled all portioned all labeled and ready to go into the freezer for the winter Ooh, winter no so a little job that uh, Claire's asked me to do um, which is underneath the balcony that uh, I decorated up there um, well, she wants to paint the metal railings and she wants me to paint those vertical supports that hold up the balcony. Um, they're quite rusty, so the first job I'm going to do is uh, give them a wire brush over before I prime them and then paint them. Uh, and then with the railings, um, I think with that I'm just going to chemically clean them. Um, the paint that we've got can go directly onto rust so that won't be a problem um so yeah that's the uh, next project hello <laughs>
got in this um, container here concentrated acid, which I'm going to clean the, um, the handrail and the uh, stairs with. Right, so now I've sprayed that on the railings. Need to leave it just 10 15 minutes and then uh, rinse it off, and then that job will be done. I'm going to be working on the gates here, um, spraying on the facade cleaner that I've got to uh, get rid of um, all the, uh, the growth on there. I might spray the pillars as well to try to get, the, to get those cleaned up. Um, so I've locked the dogs away, I'm going to open the gates and uh, crack on with some work. So this is Right, well I've done one side of one of the gates and as you've just seen it's quite an intricate process you've got lots of sides to clean. Um, I think you can probably tell which one I've done and which one I've still got to do. So this isn't the finished result because I'm only cleaning it off prior to painting so you can see it's Whilst it's nice and bright at the moment, it's not um, it's not brilliant down the bottom there. Um, so I'll uh, have a little break now because that was that was a while that was, um, and then I'll get going on this gate, and then do the insides, and then it's up to Claire. The shuttle workshop is all back to normal, set up and ready for the next instalment of shutters. Yay! Now, I know I said that this week I wasn't going to do any shutter work. However, I had a change of heart. So I am outside the house on the side that faces Rue Principal or Main Street. And we're looking up at the house and I'm starting on these Louvre shutters which go here and here they are cleaned and ready to go everything has now been wire brushed down as well and is ready and raring to go for next week woohoo so now that's both gates on the outside cleaned they're looking a heck of a lot better than they were, but uh, I can't wait till they're actually repainted. They're going to look great. Well, now I've finished the gates. Um, I've just had a quick go on the gate post. And you can see where I've done and where I've not done. And actually, what a difference it's making. Um, yeah. I like it. Railings at the front of the Maison de Maitre. Um, Nick has taken some of this acid wash and used it on the railings. Um, I've had a brush and sweep around and I'm now about to start painting them. I'm going with Inventive Blue Bretan. Woohoo! Which is the same colour as the railings above. Here goes. Where are we? 
we're off to, honey. <laughs> um, we're off shopping. Where, where are we going shopping, honey? Sand. Yeah? Yeah. To, to what shop? Um, I think you said something about a supermarket. Yeah, but where do we need to go first? Oh, a brick shop. So this week, we seem to be really getting everything back up and running. Um, ready for next week's activities. Uh, we've got some, some more friends coming to visit this weekend for a couple of nights. So yeah, we're just kind of preparing everything in readiness for working more next week. Looking forward to going back to work. Yay. So today we are here buying more of this brilliant blue paint for when I do the gates soon. Ooh. We've also come for some, um, some cleaner, which cleans the, the stonework before and after in French, so that Nick can get on with that today, hopefully. And, and we've also come here to get some glass to fix one of the windows in our side of the house. Always leave the lid down. <laughs> and what are you getting? I'm buying some wood to replace the cladding on the end of the building, which um, isn't there. <laughs> At six o'clock in the afternoon, lovely sunny day, just having a coffee whilst I'm painting these railings. And the first thing I will say is, it's lovely to be painting something not grey for a change. However, I will say that these are really, really fiddly to paint. Um, it's not so much the rails. And this up here it isn't a drip. It's obviously where something was once there, which is no longer. But, yeah, they are just really fiddly trying to get like in and around them also the moped passing also it's really really nice because i didn't really ever look at these close up but these parts are all metal that's set into the stone and all of these are sunflowers and then all of them all of the bottoms of them are the same apart from this one, which has more scrolls on it, and it's lost the kind of ball shape off the bottom. I don't know whether these are just like pointy bits. That kind of looks a bit liony from from where I'm sitting. But yeah, and then I'm going down. Yeah, at times it's really really hard to get round here and I think whoever's painted this before me has also had the same issue because look there's a blob of really old paint and then if we come up here round the back of here you can see navy where someone's obviously just kind of splodged it on I'm using the same brand of paint called inventive um which I used on the shutters, but this is for metal. And I really, really like this brand of paint. It actually, the paint sticks to things, which is really nice. And it's gearing me up for my big project next week. Yay, not just shutters. So at the top of the two gate posts says, a fair amount of moss um, which I'm gonna get rid of before cleaning them um, so yeah that's the job I'm doing now
have it. One has been cleaned and the other has still to be done. Can you tell which? There's a slight difference isn't there? There you have it, both gate posts have now been cleaned. So, uh, well that's a, I think, a great change. Um, so now we've got the paint, um, just need to find some time and Claire is going to paint the gates. Hi. Hi! And welcome to Wine of the, the week. week! Well actually this week it's not wine at all. No, we've had a really nice week with our family and some of their friends coming to stay for a couple of nights and they very kindly brought us some things from England. So you have... I've got Strongbow Cider, which is made in Herefordshire by the Bullford Company and it's lovely. You can't get anything quite as dry in France. So I've been drinking them. <laughs> On the other hand, I received Ribena, which is a black currant cordial, to drink with John Smith's, which is a Yorkshire smooth ale. So first into the pint glass goes a good dab of black currant, full sugar, none of, none of that. It's just turning sugar. a bitter into a non-bitter. So the last time I had one of these, we were actually in Benidorm. Oh, look at that. Cheers. <laughs> oh. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Flora. Cheers, Mala. So we've had a lovely week with uh, my brother's family and his friends over. And uh, well, now they've gone, we've been catching up on the washing and getting back to normal, really. We've also got um, another two friends who are coming to stay with us tomorrow, um, a couple called John and Sue, and we're really looking forward to having them here. Anyway, thank you for watching this week. Yeah, thank you. And uh... yeah, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Or on our <laughs> website, which is www.theexpatbutchers.com and if you've not already done so please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button it really does help us out so, thank you to the short family for the gifts for the dogs <laughs> flora likes her chicken Mary likes his fries oh. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you to lucy for giving flora as many cuddles as you did thank you and thanks for watching everyone we will see you next sunday cheerio bye, bye.